All right, so I got a knife right here. I'm gonna start knifing this plastic. Ow! Man, I need a better knife. Look at that, that thing sucks. Oh, oh. Oh. I found a way to cut it faster. This is exciting. smell test it doesn't smell like it's been cooked look at this man this thing looks really nice let me show it to you okay guys look at this we got the catch power 100 you haven't seen this one because this one was just sent over to me by Pelican. Thank you Pelican for doing that. Yeah, for free. But anyways, they sent it to make videos for you guys so you could take a look at it. Let me just show you right away what changed. See that there? The wheels are gone. And with the wheels being gone, you're gonna save probably a few hundred dollars because now the retail price of this is $1,000. I just want to give you a complete walkthrough of everything that this Cash Power 100 has to offer because it looks pretty solid. It looks a lot better than the prototype we tested at ICAS. Everything feels a lot better so far. So let me just walk you through it right now. We got two handles right here that are riveted, but they, they're like really, really strong right there. Like they don't move that much. We also have this transom mount plate for your trolling motor or your outboard and what I like about this one is that it has a little lip right here that it will prevent that motor from slipping out this is pretty cool because I used to have a kayak once that this was really smooth and my trolling motor slipped out and fell to the, I, I was able to get it but it fell off with this the way that it's designed look at that it's gonna whatever trolling motor you put in there it's gonna stay there it's not gonna go anywhere right so let me just show you what else we got here. It's pre-wired, plug-in and played. You could put your batteries in the front and then you could put your trolling motor right here and just plug in and you're ready to go. Right here in the back, you got two scupper holes. You got four mounted flush mounted rudder holders. You got some of this nice padding right here. And if you wanna attach something here, maybe put a cooler, you have an attachment point with this pad eyes to hold that in place. Now let's take a look at the seat. Look at this, look at this. Do you see this? Mm. Mm -hmm. This is a 360 seat. Meaning, if you wanna start your engine, you just hop aboard. Say, you, say you're fishing or whatever, doing some something. And then you wanna start your engine, you could just go like this. Boom, start your engine. And then just go. And boom, start going. Pretty awesome and then you can move it back and forth look at that just lose the bolt a little bit and then you're golden you're on the, all the way back or if you want to go forward if you want to manage your weight you could do that it's a 360 seat and you can move it forward and go back a little bit let me just move it all the way to the front see this boom and what you can do with this is maybe you want to put something on the back to take somebody else with you, like a little kit, or to manage weight. Let's say you have too much weight on the back, you have to move your seat forward to balance the boat. All right. So, let me show you what else we got here. You got this straps right here that you could have put your Plano boxes in here. Pretty cool stuff. And this padding, it just looks really nice. Look at this, all that orange color with this, the black and everything. It looks like premium padding. This is crazy stuff. Pushing the seat back a little bit. You get a ruler here. This is, this is probably inches, not sure. We're gonna have to check that out. You get another scoper hole and another scoper hole. And this is scoper holes they could be widened out all the way to this diameter if you want to. You could like trim it out. 
right? Now, uh, consult Pelican for that because I don't want to give you any crazy... I know they said in the past that, they, that you could do it, but before you do anything, I would just check with them to make sure that the warranty is still covered if you do that. Right here you have two Scotty gear track mounts for your Scotty accessories or Rail Blaza or Yak Attack, any of them will work here. And this two handle that I didn't cover, they feel really strong, stronger than before. And you also have utility tracks. You could just drop it from the middle and bring that thing, slide it up and down and put it wherever you want to. Like if you want to put a rod holder here, put a camera mount there or a fish finder there, camera here and put rod holders right here. I'm going to make a video rigging this boat later. Uh, it's probably going to be linked somewhere around here. Now, let's take a look here at the front. Boom. There you go. You see this? This is for your battery. Oh my God. And they included an attachment point that you could attach your trolling motor cable to this and just plug it in the back. That's pretty awesome stuff. And right here, you got this little strap to hold the battery down. See what's inside. Boom, you get access to the inside of the boat right there too. That's pretty cool. Okay. That that's this is pretty cool that they send you this cable. You don't have to go hunting for it and trying to make it work. Nice. Now, I want to turn the boat over so you see the bottom of it. Because this thing just, I mean, it looks like a real boat, for real. Because it's a boat, right? Is it a kayak? Although the thing says that it's a kayak. But it's a boat. Boat kayak? Yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh -uh. So, is it a boat? Is it a kayak? Comment below, I let me know. Boom. From the bottom, it does look like a boat, right? And you have this hook right here, which is surprisingly useful to transport the boat or just to attach it somewhere, put it somewhere. Some general specs is about 10 feet long and it holds probably around 450 pounds according to this ticket. So we're gonna be testing that for sure, see how much weight it weights, how much weight it weighs see how much weight it holds and we're gonna see how stable it is and also we're gonna take it in the water I'm gonna put my son I'm gonna take my son with me on this and uh, what am I saying I don't know what I'm saying maybe it's because I just woke up anyways we're gonna take it on the water we're gonna test all the motors that we have we're gonna flip it we're gonna see how stable it is we also wanna do like a test to see how much weight it could really hold it says 450 pounds but a lot of times that's not the real amount that it could hold it may be more maybe a hundred pounds more but for safety reason a lot of times if the boat could hold 500 pounds they bring it down a little bit just to be safe now let's make it official I'm gonna put the sticker inside of this uh, where do I put this? Mm -hmm. Here. Just in the way. Right here. If you're gonna register this boat, this is why you need this. Wow, wow, wow. Can I lift it? Get the whole thing, me, the kayak, everything. Doesn't matter. This is just a video on the playlist about the Catch Power 100. If you want to see more information about it, click on it right here. Oh yeah, everything, everything I mentioned right here is going to be linked down in the description. Those may be affiliate links. If they are, 
we get commissions when you buy through them.